Hi, I'm Brenda Byron, Executive Director of Prairie Lakes Regional Arts Council. We're doing an artist grantee exhibit here at Bethany Lutheran College. These are artists that received a grant from Prairie Lakes. 23 artists are featured and 16 of those are visual artists. We're going to start by seeing some of the artwork here in the gallery. The show is up January through February 2017. The first piece is an oil painting by Steve Delich of Wasika. It's called Pemberton. The second painting is by Reed White of North Mankato and it's called Girl Bike. And it is also an oil painting. Next we have acrylic work by Taylor Johnson of North Mankato. It's called Jellyfish. Below that are two bowls created by Bruce Blaisdell of Mankato. These two wooden vessels are made of ash and mahogany. The first piece was wood vessel. The second one is spalted vessel with lid. Next we have photography by K. Herbst Helms of Mankato. This first one of a boy is called In Our Hands. The second photograph by Kay is Water is Life. The third painting below by Kay Herbst Helms of Mankato is called I Love Water. The top photograph is called Hand Jewels. It's also a digital photograph by K. Herbst Helms of Mankato. Next, we have another wooden vessel by Bruce Blaisdell of Mankato. This wood bowl has open segments of Purple Heart. Next, we have an oil painting by Reed White of North Mankato. This one is entitled Pigeon Boy. Here we have another wooden vessel by Bruce Blaisdell of Mankato. It's made of walnut, birch, and mahogany. On the wall is a sculptural piece by Patricia Bielke of Morgan. It's called Windswept. It has red twigged dogwood and cane. Next we have three banjos created by Eric Oren of Kosota. Eric received his artist grant to construct these banjos, which he also plays and sells. They're called Upland Banjo, number 26, 20, and 24. Next we have a small sculptural piece by Tim James of Good Thunder, and it's called Quest. Above is another piece by Tim James of Good Thunder called Beyond the Horizon. Next we have a pastel painting by David Olson of Madison Lake. It's entitled HM. Next is a digital print by Brian Holland of St. Peter. It's called Lion Study. Moving on to this large landscape piece by Steve Delich of Wasika, it's called Radio Waves, as it, and it is an oil painting. Now we'll move on to some smaller pieces. So these are illustrations by Angela Archer of North Mankato. She is also a writer, and she's created these illustrations to go in her book. This one's called Prairie Study 3, Ornery, and her book is about a buffalo. Other illustrations here by Angela Archer of North Mankato are the Prairie Study 2, Flora and Fauna, and show several different animals on the prairie. Here is another sculpture by Tim James of Good Thunder. This, this mixed media piece is called Coalition. Here is another glass sculpture by April 
small furs from St. Peter. It's called Blue Splash. And this oil painting by David Olson of Madison Lake called Woman in Blue Blanket. This piece by Taylor Johnson of North Mankato is called Hippo. It's an acrylic painting. Another piece by Taylor Johnson of North Mankato is Stingrays. It's also an acrylic painting. This photograph is by Dale Luft of Montgomery. It's called Lighted Path. Another piece by Dale Luft of Montgomery is called Orchids. A photograph by Dale Luft of Montgomery called The Volcano. And Dale Luft of Montgomery also made this photograph called Floating Yellow. These porcelain necklaces were created by Deborah, Deborah Evans Page of Lesseur. She wasn't able to bring the original pieces to the show, but she has these lovely photographs of the pieces. First was Resurrection. Second is Unchained by Deborah Evans Page of Lesseur. And the last one is Good Fortune. And these are porcelain necklaces. Next we have a large oil painting by Reed White of North Mankato. It's called Katie. Now we'll move to a small ink print by Lori Zalek Knight of St. Peter. It's called The Veil. Here is Brian Holland of St. Peter's digital print called Foxhole. This large watercolor landscape is by Steve Deleitch of Wasika. It's called Towering. These acrylic paintings are by Richard Thiessen of St. Peter. Lesser Sculpt Studies Bluebills. Richard Tyson of St. Peter also made this acrylic painting, Spring Fling, Hooded, and The Golden Eye. Next is an oil painting by David Olson of Madison Lake called The Violinist. Here is an acrylic painting by Lori Zalek Knight of St. Peter called Snow Cover. A second piece by Lori Zalek Knight of St. Peter is called In Motion, acrylic painting. Please stop out to Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato and see this wonderful exhibit of 13 visual artists showcasing visual artwork and also take a look at the brochure that features all 23 artists with a biography of how they create their work, how they use their artist grant from Prairie Lakes Regional Arts Council, and we hope you'll come by to Bethany and see the exhibit. I'm Brenda Byron, Prairie Lakes Regional Arts Council Executive Director.